Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas episode 8, the final episode, I think, in my Vlogmas series. Yes, hello, my name is Martin and this is another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. We're going to get straight into it today. We're in the final furlong of getting ready for Christmas. It's day 22 of Advent, so we're going to open this up. I've got a few things to do today. So, straight in with the crochet. And, oh, today we have another centralizer stitch marker. So this time uh, in a teal color, and like the others, you've got the, the glitzy part. Beautiful. So I'm guessing this is going on this side to signify the top of the wing, as we did with the wing from a couple of days ago. So. I'm going to get cracking with the crochet. It's quarter past 10. Mark's just about to head out into town. He's going to go and finish his Christmas shopping. I need to go out in the car and run an errand. Um, I'm going to my brother's. Mark doesn't know this. Um, so I'm going to run out and do an errand. But first of all, I'm going to finish today's clue. So I've got three more prongs to put on. So I think I'm going to spend 20 minutes now. I'll get this done. Um... And then let's do some more Christmas stuff. In this episode, we're obviously going to finish our festive bird. And then you're going to, well, this episode will be up at some point on Christmas Eve. So I'm not sure when you're watching it, um, but we'll come on, on to all that festive greetings and, and the like at the end. Um, the Christmas cakes will feature at some point in this issue. This issue, this edition, this video. Um, you saw me making the Christmas cakes at various points um, through my um, videos. So we're going to finish the Christmas cakes. Um, that's exciting. I'll show you the Christmas boxes that we've done. They've all been finished. Lots of stuff. But very quick introduction now. As I've said, I'm off to do some crochet. Back in a bit. So yes, it is early morning and it is time to do the Christmas cakes. So good morning on uh, Thursday, the 23rd of December. <gasps> Christmas Eve Eve. Um, today's advent pattern looks a bit intense. There's quite a lot of sewing up. So I'm going to do that a bit later on today. We've got a few things that need to get done today. First up is the Christmas cakes. So I'm going to ice the cakes. So we have three cakes. I have cake boards. I've got some marzipan. Um, almond paste. Um, I've got lots of white icing. No one's making their own icing at Christmas. Um, I've got some orange marmalade to stick the things down with um the icing etc um, and the orange marmalade i think will be lovely because if you've watched the creation of the christmas cakes they've got orange and spiced rum in them yum so i think the orange will be really lovely so i'll do a bit of a time lapse now as i'm going again process so i will probably um do all of the cakes um in a production line. So I'll put them all on the cake boards, then I will marzipan them all, then I will ice them all, then I will decorate them all. And decorations, I keep them simple. Last year I had beads, this year I'm just going for white uh, cutters. So um, no plastic, no little plastic decorations or anything like that, all edible. So um, I'm hopefully going to find a, a star cookie cutter, something like that, and then we'll put lots of stars on them. That's my plan. But um, I've just made another cup of coffee. I'm talking quiet-ish. Mark is in bed. I think he is awake. Um, or he is waking up. So I can talk a little bit. But let's get going. <laughs> Okay, quick 
update, they all have marzipan tops. This one, double one, is for us and Mark's mum. So we'll eat this on Christmas Day and then whatever we don't eat, Mark's mum will take back with her. Um, and then we have one without any marzipan. So it's just a cake um, because my brother doesn't like it. So they're the cakes, marzipan. And so we don't have any waste. Apologies for the finger there. Um, I have made this snowman, people. Can't you see? Use your imaginations. Yes, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. So I'm going to get some cocktail sticks and pop some cocktail sticks in as arms. And I'll put two eyes. And then we'll have some little decorations. I thought, why waste the marzipan that I've got left? Let's be resourceful. I was going to say economical or thrifty, but I think it's resourceful, isn't it? So we've got some marzipan snowmen to go on the cakes as well. Right. Now it's time to roll these bad boys out. I think I've got too much ice in. But better to have too much than not enough. So <laughs> it is 9.46. It's taken me a while. I'm not a cake baker. Cake baker? Cake maker? Cake decorator? Um, but they're done. So I will spin you around. I don't think they'll win any beauty prizes. Mark is the baker. I am the knitter. But I enjoy it nonetheless. It's an annual tradition. So we now have five cakes. So let me show you. There we go. The uh, snowmen <laughs> will be finished later. Um, I've realised we don't have any cocktail sticks, so I need to buy some of those when we go food shopping. And I'll pop some little cocktail sticks on either side of the snowmen. So they've got little arms. But there we go. Christmas cakes are done. So if you've been here for most of Vlogmas, I hope that you've enjoyed the process from soaking the fruit. Oh, Vlogmas. No, that was Vlogtober, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, Vlogtober when we started the cakes. Soak the fruit, bake the cakes. So if you want to see the process, hop back and check out some of the Vlogtober videos. It will be towards the end of the month, I think. So some of the later videos. But they're done. So that is a good thing. Ticked off the list. Um, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. And I'm going to have some toast. And then we're going to do food shopping and pick up the turkey from the butchers. So a few errands to run this morning and then I hopefully we'll get to the crochet. So this is the original. This is the box for niece one and niece two also had one of these, but uh, in red, but it's the one that's gone missing. So niece two, we've now gone for the natural look. Um, so this has been varnished. So um, they're the same with their printed names on them. And I've taken the lid off this one just so that I can show you uh what's in because they're both identical so they've got a little jigsaw puzzle uh which is two-sided so they get to do two puzzles then because they're really girly they've got some little hair clips um two pairs of little festive slipper socks and a little chocolate treat um they've got a little hot chocolate spoon which you just stick in some hot milk and then it melts and creates a hot chocolate and then they've got um a plate for santa so a little christmas treat reindeer treats santa's treats and then on the bottom of the plates mark's going to tell me off for messing this up now um on the bottom of the plates they've got their names so love from olivia and then love from adriana on the other one so they get wrapped up all nice and neat let me try and put this back. All wrapped up. And then the lid gets popped on and they'll get popped underneath the Christmas tree tonight, ready for them to open when Santa's been tomorrow. 
ho, 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 it's late. It is 9.52 and I'm just sitting down. We've had a bit of a busy day. We've done all the bits we needed. We've been to see um, our foxy friend, the lovely Sharon in Swansea um, to drop one of the Christmas cakes off, which was lovely. Um, we've unexpectedly got a house guest, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but I'm now only just sitting down to do today's crochet. And I really want to sit down and do it today because I don't want to have to do it tomorrow because there's lots happening tomorrow. So today, number 23, the penultimate one. And... Ooh! We have a tin... With. And on the basis of what I've just done, I've done the first bit of the pattern. Oops. Um, and I've taken the first centralizer off. So we have a tin to keep the centralizers in because there are five centralizers on our festive bird. And I'm taking four off today. So, there they are. So, I've just sewn the tailpiece into place. And she is just bonkers. You know what I'm trying to do. That's not going to work. Right. Right. Kind of. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with the clue. So I've done the tailpiece. That's now fixed into position. I now need to do the wings. Um, but let me just flip you around and show you our guest. Luke! Come here. Come here. Yeah. He's here. Hello. Loki. You okay? You come in here? Come here. Come here. Give me a high five. Good boy. Oh, you're just the cutest, aren't you? You're just the cutest little bear. Oh. Scratches. We love him. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all a bit mad in his house, so um, he's come for some respite. And a little bit of peace and quiet. Oh. He's done high five now. I'm going to have to go and get him a treat as a reward. Right. And then I'm going to sew the wings together. Oh, the good boy. You're a good boy too. Thank you. <laughs> well then, Luke. Mwah. Good morning. It's Christmas Eve. We've made it, folks. Oh, how is it Christmas Eve already? Feels like last week that I was starting Vlogmas and we were just starting the first bits of our crazy fancy festive bird. And now we're nearly at the end. Um, so I am out. As you can see, walking the hound. Come on up. Um, for those of you that are new and haven't seen him before, yeah, he's called Loki and he is our nephew dog. He belongs to my middle brother and lives with niece too. Um, and he's kind of like a recurring character. <laughs> he appears every so often. So I'm out walking him. It's raining in Cardiff. What a way to start Christmas Eve. Um, but you had a sneak peek last night as I finished. It was like, it didn't take me until 11 o'clock. I started at 9.52. It didn't take me over an hour to do the actual bit. I just was chatting to Mark. We were watching telly, a couple of glasses of wine. So by the time I'd finished it after gassing, it was 11 o'clock. Um, so you saw a sneak peek. I will show you the finished 
bird in a little bit. Um, she's super cute. So I'm up to date. The only thing I've got to do today is the beak, which I'm hoping is like five minutes of crochet. Spin around, he's twisted me. Um, dog say, there's nothing really to do today. It's all done apart from the beak. So my plan, I'm hopefully gonna do that now when I get in, then I will do a show off of the finished bird. Come on in. Uh, and then yeah, wrap this video up. So I'll show you a bit of gloomy Cardiff Bay. You've seen it in some of the lovely sunshine. Let's see some rain. And then we're gonna go home and finish our bird. And then Christmas Eve can start. Okay, we're back from my walk. Straight back, I still got wet head. Um, but needs must, Christmas Eve, lots to do. So straight into the crochet. So day 24, final day. So let's open. And we've got some kind of golden yarn. Oh, it's shiny. Feels really soft. Um, so whatever the goldy color, it's made it a lot softer feeling to touch than the, the other colors. Um, but yeah, only a little bit. And excuse the noise, if there is noise. Earlier in this video, you've had Mark loading the dishwasher. Now you've got Mark doing the ironing. We're multitasking. Um, so I'm gonna get on, I've got my hook. I'm gonna give our bird a beak and then we'll be back with a big reveal. And I'm done. Our bird is finished and we can now do the big reveal. A little bit about this yarn that um, I just showed off for the beak. Uh, this is hand spun and hand dyed silk, which is why it feels different to the other yarn. It's just lovely. And I've got loads left because we had a bit and it's just the tiny, tiniest beak. So that'll go into my stash along with the other um, limited edition yarns. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do with them. And I love this, I've not made another item another creation with bits of the leftovers from previous years, but I've still got um, a bit of red left over from uh, like when we did Rory. I've got loads left of some of the gold from Estella and the aqua light blue from last year's wizard. So I'm gonna have fun trying to think of how to add some of these festive edition yarns into future projects. Um, but without further ado, let me introduce you to Jasper, who's a resplendent Quetzal. And well done, those of you that commented in previous videos or commented on previous videos that guessed that we were making a Quetzal. Um, so thank you for your guesses and congratulations. I'll show him off uh, in a little bit of detail in a moment, but I just thought I'd share a little bit from the pattern um, piece from today. Um, that Kerry's provided. So um, today we're completing Jasper with hand spun and hand dyed recycled pure silk in a sophisticated gold. Found in the tropical forest of South America, the resplendent Quetzal is a very significant symbol in Guatemalan culture and the country's currency takes its name from the bird. Um, so I thought that was really nice. There's a bit more blurb, which I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else um, about. But the other piece I thought I'd share is Jasper is a name associated with gemstones and in Hebrew means Lord of Jewels or Keeper of the Treasure. So a very befitting name for the creation in which Toft and many Advent participants tried beaded crochet for the first time. 
So I love that. And I love with all of the Toff creations, if you've got any of the Ed's menagerie books, um, most of the characters, you have the pattern, then you have a little story that goes with the um, the creation and, and how they got their name. Um, so I love um, that we've got that also this year. So let me just quickly show you off then. So we've got this wonderful main which you've seen and last night we added in um alternative colors so you'd seen previously with the green gems the emerald um we've now added the jade in which is just super then we've also got this lovely little beak that we've added on now in the gold the wings have been created they were sewn together so almost like a butterfly effect and then sewn onto the body um, just attached here and they're quite loose um, so we've got a bit of movement in the creation um, then of course into the wonderful tail the jade the emerald again to the teal to the gems and then down to the tail or the tail tips and then of course his wonderful feet and his wonderful toes so there we go it's just a super, super fantastic creation. And I'm so glad that you've been here to follow along with it. He's gonna be a great addition to my menagerie. I think I need to work out some kind of shelf where he can sit down but his lovely tail gets shown off and the tail gets to, to hang somewhere. Because it would be a shame to put him on a bookshelf and then the tail just get out of the way. Because the tail is what makes him... Maybe I'll face him backwards and we'll have the tail on show. But I love these gems, the way they, they glisten. So that's it for Advent. It's just been a super, super month. Thank you all for being here. Um, this is my third advent along i think and again another spectacular one a huge thank you if anyone from team toft ever watches my videos um a huge thank you for everything that you do to get us this wonderful creation and to go through advent and like this year's box how many bags were hand packed you know the special edition yarns my favorite bits you know permanent goodies that we've got our our tin with our stitch markers in which, and the stitch markers, of course, um, pin badge, which will go on my knitting bag, of course. My favourite reveal was the patch. So it's just been lovely to get the emails each day, do a little bit of crochet, have some of the goodies. A few of you asked a few, um, in comments about when the advents go on sale. And I had a quick look before I started filming this segment and the advent went on sale at the end of July. Um, and this year, I think I've said before, um, it sold out in like 48 hours, um, where other years it's been on sale for quite a while. So definitely sign up to Toft's mailing list if you want to join in and don't want to miss out. Um, you'll get an email when the pre-sale um, is about to go live. Um, and I hope to God I can get in next year. I really, really hope that I get to do another one because this was just spectacular. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you all very much for joining me, Mark, Loki, all of the Advent fun. Um, we're going to have um, a lovely restful Christmas now um, with family. We're shortly going to go and pick Mark's mum up who's coming for Christmas, which will be lovely. I'm going to sign off for um, a week or so. I'll probably, I'll be bored at some point after Christmas, after I've opened my presents and eaten my turkey, I usually want to take the tree down. I'm done with Christmas then. Um, so I'll be back just before New Year, I think, with um, an end of year wrap up when I'll try and put a bit of a gallery together of all of the things that I've created in 2021. Um, so I'll leave this video there. Um, I will be back nearer the New Year. I hope that you all have a wonderful break. If you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas, have a lovely time, whatever you're getting up to. And yeah, thank you very much for being here, for supporting my little channel. I really do 
I appreciate it. So for Mark and I, I don't know where he is. I was going to get him to come on the camera. Mark, wow. what are you doing? <clears throat> oh, come and say hello. My mother just rang. It's fine. I can cut her off. <clears throat> hello. Oh, there we go. Right, that could be the thumbnail. So from me and him and him, you coming in as well? I'm not getting him in. Okay. Um, have a very lovely Christmas and a very happy new year and we will speak to you soon. So until we speak again, happy crafting.